The organisers of a conference in Brussels which is hosting right-wing politicians from across Europe say they've been told to shut down the event. Amongst those who addressed the National Conservative event were two British politicians, Nigel Farage and Suella Braverman. The organisers, who were rejected by two other planned venues after a series of protests, have said they'll seek legal advice. Ms Braverman, a former UK Home Secretary, left the conference after giving her speech. She didn't stop to speak to reporters before getting in her car. The local mayor had expressed concerns about public safety. Our Europe correspondent Nick Beek is just in front of the venue. Here's what's been happening there. The picture here tells the story because you can see there is this line of police officers, probably about a dozen or so of them. And the reason for that is that the local mayor here in Brussels has said that this event needs to be shut down. So as you can see, the police aren't exactly running in to turf people out. But basically, the organisers of this event, of this conference, have been told that it has to wind down. So basically, in effect, what's happening is that people aren't being allowed in and those leaving at the moment, including Nigel Farage and Suella Brown, these prominent uh, UK politicians, they've left but they won't be allowed in along with anyone else. And Nigel Farage, of course a lot of people will know for his role here in this city during uh, the Brexit days, a leading uh, campaigner for Brexit, said that this was decision what was happening here he said this was an attempt to stifle uh, free speech now I put it to him what the local mayor had said in this letter that was presented to the um, to the organizers here that there were potentially homophobes and people with views on other subjects including abortion on stage and in the audience and he said that was cobblers he didn't think that was the case whatsoever and he made uh, his exits if you look through this is where the main event is and you could see possibly someone on stage there and so there are a few speeches uh, still getting underway people have had some uh, some food and light refreshments so this is continuing despite the efforts of the local authorities and the police to close it down so I mean what is definitely not happening is that you've got loads of police officers running in pulling people out but the the idea is that this will you know come to a halt I think it might be that for another couple of hours or so we're in this limbo. The big, the big question is what happens tomorrow because you've got Viktor Orban, the, the leader of Hungary, who's supposed to be among the keynote speakers tomorrow. Will this be allowed to, to happen tomorrow? Will people be allowed in the venue? So, yeah, that's what's happening at the moment. And I should say, you know, sort of the, the whole idea of this event has been overshadowed somewhat by what's been happening. This was the third venue that was supposed to host it after the previous two venues, uh, their, their hosting basically fell through. The idea is that a number of politicians on the right and centre right, uh, particularly the far right across Europe are here exchanging ideas ahead of the, the European elections uh, in June. Nick Beek there.